remember first playing Minecraft and taming your first pet dog? Well nowadays it just doesn't feel the same. So in an attempt to get that same feeling back, I'm gonna collect the coolest and most illegal mobs in all of Minecraft. Now the first mob is a literal giant. To get it, I need to make a new world in the infinite dimension snapshot, gear up, and enter dimension Z. What the hell? This is so weird. Now there should be... Yes, there's a giant. Just gotta build a decently sized nether portal to fit this guy, and lure him through. There we go. To transfer him to the main world, I'm using a neat little program called MTA Selector. Wait, but where do I put this guy? There we go, now we just gotta make a cage for him. Alright, well I just gotta somehow take him all the way down there. Wait, I wonder if I could- Oh my god, wait, I've actually got a giant in a minecart. That's so weird. Alright, there we go, that's the first mob trap. Now as the video progresses, the mobs will get crazier and crazier, even getting some mobs that have never been obtained before. Alright, as you probably can't tell by this time lapse, the next mob I'm gonna be trapping is an upside down village runner chicken. To do so, I first gotta find a baby zombie village runner chicken, which has a 1 in 3,200 chance of spawning, so you know what time it is. Alright, I've modified us all the regular mobs will fall down here whilst the chicken jockeys will go up this tube into a cage right next to me. Alright, now let's AFK here for a little while. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. That took too long. Now I'll just shoot all the ones I don't need. Make a weakness potion and golden apple to cure him into a villager. Alright, well now I just gotta take him all the way down there. And there we go. Now the next mob is a triple strider. Thing is, they don't exist anymore. So I gotta travel back in time to 20W17A and head to the nether. Right, now this... This is gonna take a while. Oh my god, wait! That's four striders, that's insane! Oh my god! Just need them to grow up and I'll bring them back to the main world. Wait, I need a place to put them. And there we go. Wait, I have an idea. So if I put a lead on the bottom one and hop on the top one... Oh my god, I'm actually flying. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Alright, I just gotta bring him down safely and move on to the next mob, which is the illusion. Now, this thing has a... Wait for it. 0% chance of spawning. So, after a bit of research, I found out I need to go to the infinite dimension snapshot. Thing is, I don't know what dimension they're found in. There's like two billion dimensions. No, 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 no. Wait, yes! That's the illusioner! Just gotta take them through this portal. Now we can transfer it and I forgot to build a cage for it again. All right, there's the illusioner trap. Now with all these mobs in here, I'm gonna need something to protect them. Something like two iron golems with no AI. To get them, I'll go to that same snapshot and enter dimension missing. Now as you can see, these iron golems don't go through nether portals. So I'll create an end portal using the frames from last episode. And there we go. Now we can transfer them and they'll be protecting the mobs for the rest of eternity. Yeah, the golems died, so I replaced them with scarecrows. Now the next two mobs are an adult drowned and zombified piglin on a chick. Starting with the drowned, I need to head to 18W16A and find a zombie spawner. Now by placing water here, the zombies will drown and have a 1 in 500 chance of being on a chicken. So now we wait. Yes, there we go. Okay, now for the zombie piglin jockey, I'll go to 20W11A and build something like this. Now we'll AFK up here and wait for a bunch of piglins to go through these nether portals. Now when zombifying the overworld, these guys have a small chance of turning into what I want. And yes, there we go. Just gotta transfer him and you know what time it is. And there we go. Now the next mobs are the stray and with the skeleton skeleton horse jockey. First I'll wait for lightning to strike and summon a skeleton horse. Now I'll activate it and grab some powdered snow. Now with this very complex and intricate contraption, the skeleton should turn into a stray. And sick, there we go. Now for the with the skeleton horse jockey, I'll go to 1.9 and head up here a little bit. Now I want to make a pretty big platform so lightning can strike it and summon a skeleton horse. Then they should go through these nether portals and have wither skeletons on top of them. So now we wait. Okay, let's enter the nether, and yes, there we go. Alright, now we just gotta build a cage for them, nice. Next is the blue axolotl, and they're illegal because they don't exist in the real world. But I'm not gonna get these guys the normal way, I'm gonna farm them. To do that, I'll go to when they were first released. And build something like this. Alright, so the axolotl should spawn here, and then chase after the drowned and go into a nether portal down there. Alright, well now I've just gotta AFK up here for a little while. Okay, it's been a while, so let's see. Oh my god, yeah, there's a blue axolotl. Alright, now we can build a cage for him. There we go, there's the blurks and a lot of traps. Now the next mob is the literal human.
Hear me out. I'm first gonna go the one block at a time April Fool's update. Right now, I need to get to the end. Thing is, I have two hands and no inventory. Look on the bright side, I can pick up mobs and throw them. And fly with them. Now I wanna go the nether to make an end portal. So I gotta first find a ruined portal. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I just gotta punch some of this obsidian and put it in place. Alright, now I'll just light this thing and head into the nether. Okay, just gotta head to a nether fortress. Now, if I open these chests, they actually have end portal frames. So then I can just use 12 of these to make an end portal. Now, if I bring a chicken and skeleton into the end, I can actually fly while shooting the end crystals. Alright, now I'll just punch the ender dragon to death. Wait, I can ride it? Now, as you can see, these endermen are holding all kinds of random blocks, so there's a chance that one of them has... Yes, there's a player in. Now, I can just pick this up and and transfer it to 1.20. Now, with a little bit of magic, I've trapped a human. Why did you use your imagination a little? Now, I want to give this guy a netherite hose, so why not make a sick edit out of it? Wait, you're telling me you can't even put tools on armor stand? mob is a bunny that literally kills. To get it, I gotta go to 14W27A. And these guys have a 1 in 1,000 chance of spawning. That's gonna take forever. Oh my god, yes, it's a killer bunny. Just gotta transfer him to the main well. You've got to be kidding me. Yes, there we go, I found another killer bunny. So let's not die again and transfer it to 1.20. Now this guy needs a home to stay for the rest of his life. And there we go, there's the killer bunny captured. Alright, next I want to trap every boss in the game. Starting with the wither, I can actually use barrier blocks from last episode to keep him in place. So let's go and grab three wither skulls. Wait, I have a wither skeleton farm. Now we can build a cage for this guy, and then I can just summon him. There we go, that's the wither trapped. Alright, moving on, the next boss to trap is the water. So let's head to the deep dark and activate one of these bad boys. Now, because I'm pretty confident in my Minecraft skills, I'm sure I'll be fine. Actually, let's be a bit more careful and build a tunnel going to the museum. Alright, now let's take the warden through. Now, before I can bring it to its cage, I need to build its cage. To stop the one from killing the mobs, I'm gonna have to build some really advanced mechanisms. Alright, let's now take this guy into place. There we go, now he's trapped. Okay, now the final boss, as you probably guessed, is the Ender Dragon, and there's a bit of an issue, because I need to trap this thing in the overworld in 1.20. I'll we'll start by going back to the one block at time world. And remember earlier how I rode the dragon? Yeah, well, I can ride it through the void into the overworld. Wait, that was meant to be a joke, it actually worked. So now I'll transfer to 15W47C and build a pillar with a boat on top. Now, hopefully, yes, the dragon's in a boat. Now I'll transfer it back. And I can actually use flying machines to push it in place. Uh, I dropped the ender dragon. You know, that's not something you hear every day. To fix that, we'll make a nice little bridge to move him across. Actually, before I move the dragon in, I should probably build a cage for it. Alright, there we go. Now I can bring the dragon into place. Okay, now I just gotta drop it down there. And there we go, that's the dragon trap. Okay, tell me this doesn't look sick. All three bosses trapped in the overworld. Now, to truly get that feeling of taming a dog for the first time, I'm not gonna be limited by the bounds of Java Edition. So I moved to Bedrock Edition. To get this bedrock mob, I have to look through lots and lots of zombies. Yo, are pink sheep even rare in bedrock? Ha, <laughs> bedrock even has baby dogs. Damn, this scenery looks so nice. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for, a baby riding a zombie. Now, if I kill the adult zombie, the baby can ride lots of mobs like a... Horse. Now, I want lots of these special mobs, but it's gonna take way too long getting them manually. So I built a farm for them. Now, the special zombies should fall down here and survive, whilst the regular mobs should die. Keyword should. I haven't tested this out yet. So let's AFK here for just a little while. Okay, let's kill all the adult zombies. And use a couple chickens to transport them back. Now, since I can't transfer these guys to Java, I'm gonna trap them here. Alright, there we go. Actually, I need one of those cows. So let's just move these guys onto some new mobs and bring them into their pens. Alright, there's the baby zombie on a cow, pig, sheep, wolf, zombie, and horse. Nice, there we go. Now we'll transfer back to Java. Now, I want to get two incredibly illegal horses. First is a zombie horse. Now, hold your horses. It is possible to obtain with our commands. I think. So let's go to the infinite dimension snapshot and enter dimension Q3. Now I'll go to this biome that's too long to say and build a pretty large grass platform. Now if I sit here for a bit, the zombie horses should spawn. Those aren't zombie horses. 
still no zombie horses. It's been two hours. Spawn on top of grass blocks with adequate light levels. Wait, what does adequate even mean? Should do the trick. Oh yes, it's a zombie horse. And now there's a floating zombie horse. Now let's go ahead and transfer it to the main world. Alright, now let's build a cage for it. Now we'll bring him in, and that's a zombie horse trapped. The other and even more illegal horse is the God Horse. And no, the name's not an exaggeration. This thing can run 126 blocks a second, jump 34 blocks high, and has 200 health. To find it, I'll go the Minecraft 3D shareware update, and this looks pretty weird. First of all, there are these barrels that have unusual items. And the mobs have 2D textures for some reason. But the coolest part, for example, if I type more Daka, I get overpowered gear. Like, I even got a multi-shot 12 crossbow. So now if I actually type this, I should... Wait, 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 that's the wrong command. Okay, if I type this command, there should... Yes, there's a god horse. Damn, this guy's so far. So now we can just transfer him to the main world and build a pretty fitting cage for him. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's retextured Blackstone. Hey, you should name this guy Mayo, because he Mayo Mays. Now, for the final phase, I want to trap the coolest mobs in all of Minecraft. To achieve this, we'll head back to the one block at a time update. Now, I can actually throw certain blocks on top of mobs. For example, I can throw a barrel onto a villager. But to even make a barrel, I need to look for a spruce village. How does Steve measure his shoe size in square feet? <laughs> I think the chicken died. <gasps> That's a village! That's, that's a village. Okay, and yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So if I place it in here and surround it in these blocks, they should turn into barrels, nice. So now I'll just chuck it on a villager's head. Now to get this next mob, I need to first find a woodland mansion. So with the help of my best friend's seed map, it should be just about here, nice. Right now, I want an evoker, so it's probably not a good idea to go in here unprepared. <laughs> Alright, I can actually throw a carved pumpkin on this guy's head. Like, that just looks so dark. Okay, so now let's just transfer him and move on to the next mob. Right, as you may have noticed earlier, I can actually stack mobs on top of each other. For example, I can stack a creeper on a spider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what better way to get that feeling of taming a dog for the first time than to stack 1,000 dogs on top of each other? How, you may ask? Well, introducing the breeding chamber. Now, I need lots of cooked meat, so... Now, I know it's a bit unorthodox, but as a wise man once said, if it works, it works. Now let's just keep reading these walls for a very, very, very long time. I never want to do this again. All right, now let's stack these guys on top of each other. Yeah, that's so cool, so let's just transfer it back. All right, before I move on to this final mob, I want to build a cage for these three guys. Boom, okay, now just bring him into place. Alright, and there we go, there's the wolf stack, pumpkin evoker, and barrel villager trap. Wait, I wonder what this guy trait. Now, moving on to the final stage, I want to make the rarest mob in all of Minecraft. So, introducing my master plan. The first step is to make a baby villager. Now, if I actually zombify him, just like that, he can actually pick up armor. So now, I'll transfer this guy back in time to the one block update. Now, I gotta look for a specific colored panda. So this may take a while. This is taking a while. Wait, is that? Wait, 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 yes, that's a brown panda. So now we just gotta bring it all the way back to the zombie villager. Right, now I should be able to just do this. Yeah, nice. Okay, well, let's transfer this bad boy back to 1.20. And for the final time... And there we go, the final mob is trapped. So with that, we are finally complete. Up to this point, I still haven't got that same old feeling back. So maybe some things are just meant to stay as memories. And nothing more.